Howdy, yeah, this is here's Clint Cowpoke again. I've been reading up on this here story of this Hugh Glass feller, the the guy that they inspired the the, uh, the Revenant and Fitzgerald and, and the other the younger fella. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd just like to add this little snippet. You, you don't need to add it to the review or nothing, but it'd be interesting as a, as a, as a as a little uh, aside. It is supposed to take in the American a place in the American Midwest, uh, around the Yellowstone River and the uh, and the up up near the Missouri, you know, El, Yellowstone River, and and yeah, and uh, apparently it's based on a story that was hearsay at the time, uh, eighteen twenty three, eighteen twenty three, and um, and uh, there was this story that ended up in the Philadelphia newspaper later on the East Coast that said. Uh, this trapper, this, uh, the, this sort of an early version of Davy Crockett, basically, or something like that, or early version of the pirate, There's, you know, early frontiersman, like, prototype of pro frontier cowboy trapper dude, okay, sort of like a Davy Crockett, and, and he was, um, basically, uh, yeah, he, 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 it was a, more of a legend than David Crockett, as David Crockett was, uh, I think later, but yeah, um, and and not really, yeah. Later, or so. I'm gonna mess that up somehow. But anyway, that was a different guy. Uh, and the movie is loosely based on all of the hearsay and stories about it. Revenant is considerably different than actually the ending is is different. Of uh, the, for one thing, Hugh, uh, uh, the guy, the fella, the trapper was in his early 40s, the, and ha having actually known nothing about it until I read about it just a few couple hours ago, before, before when I did the review, I read the, did the review, and then I went back and read about the story, and, and it seems that the trapper, I'm going to put this down over here, <laughs> okay, I set it up on this thing, anyway, so, so we got a guy named uh, Hugh, so we got a guy named Hugh Glass, and his enemy fits Fitzgerald or Fitzpatrick depends on who's telling the story. It's a uh, modern uh, uh, myth in the 1800s, before the Civil War by by at least 40 years, about about the frontier. The French are still there. The their Indian tribes there. They changed them in the movie. They, uh, and um, Native Americans. So this fur trapper, apparently the real story, the historical story, is that the trapper guy was with the trapper party, and they're sort of like hired to go and get pelts. So they're not really a, a militia, so to speak. They're just sort of there and armed because there's Indians around, and Native Americans who will shoot them. So, so that's what's going on there. So it's it's not that they're under a contract it's sort of like the contract is that they're workers, not soldiers. They're workers. And they're just out there trying to do their keep on the frontier. And, so and, and this Hugh fella, there's two different things that happen. At one point, he's nearly scalped and killed by the Indians and, and breaks his leg. Then later on, he gets healed and he rejoins the party in the real story. I guess there's three or four versions of it. If it's real at all, it's probably hearsay. And in the second version, he doesn't actually get his leg broken. It's already healed. And he goes back and the bear attacks him. Sometimes it's a white bear, sometimes it's a grizzly bear. It's not clear what, what chain of events happened there. In the movie, they make it sound like all of that happened in the course of what appears to be a week. And actually, it was at least two. And, yeah, he he wasn't literally left for dead and buried and all that. He was just left for dead. They assumed he was dead out there by Fitzpatrick or Fitzgerald. And then, and then later on... Yeah, he crawls. Uh, they kept exaggerating how far he crawled to get to help. Uh, the, uh, the The consensus is that it was probably a mile originally, but it kept getting bigger and bigger until it was two or three or four miles or whatever, 
20 miles or 100 miles or whatever, but down to a, a camp and he was rescued, which isn't as exciting. Uh, and yeah, that makes more sense. It's like, okay, he didn't actually go that far. A mile is feasible. Two miles is feasible. Would have been one or two miles. Uh, but 20, no, he'd be dead. Uh, and, and he was mauled by the bear, but his leg wasn't actually broken and twisted around like in the movie. Uh, the movie has changed that. Uh, apparently this movie's been done a couple times. This is the latest version. Um, interestingly enough, the filmmaker decided to add all of the extra, like, Indian sub son subplot and Indian... In the movie, he has a son that's uh, half Indian. Doesn't exist in any of the earlier versions of the story. So the movie version, they made that up to make his revenge later have more meaning, I guess. But in the movie, that none of the other stories have a half-Indian child. So they totally put that in there separate. Um, also, the original story ends completely different. In the original story, in all the versions, apparently, he doesn't get revenge. He gets back to the, to the soldier fort. And they basically tell him, oh, Fitzpatrick left. He's gone. He's not here. He left. He's, he, he's, he's gone, and you can't get him. Sorry. That's how the actual story ended, which isn't nearly as exciting. But in 1820, that makes sense that they would say that. Um, yeah, it's like, come on. The, oh, no, he has to go and defeat the bad guy. He's like, no, that's Hollywood. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the younger guy that was with Fitzpatrick, or Fitzgerald, depending on who's saying it, uh, he, uh, he was spared by the, uh, the trapper. He said, okay, I'm not going to kill you because you were just following the other guy's direction, which kind of is in the movie. It's like, okay, that, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, so the ending is made up because they watch too many Tarantino movies. But yeah, uh, it's been redone several times, so I guess they can do that. Uh, the actual real guy, the, 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 the inspiration for the story, if there was a real guy, the actual guy, you know, there's some debate on whether there was. Uh, they have a sort of a woodcut picture of him. He's kind of ugly. Doesn't look like DiCaprio at all. And, um, yeah, the actual guy died like two years later. Like two or three years later in an attack by the Indians. So if he really was buddies with the Indians, now he would have been totally killed later on. And, yeah, so two to, two to ten years later, depending on who's telling the story. That's the story behind the, remnant, the Revenant, the Revenant, and the movie's based on a book that's The Revenant. So there you go. Uh, but, yeah, it was the first, an early frontiersman story, a la Lewis and Clark and Daniel Boone and all those other Americana stories that predate the cowboy era. So it's technically the first one of the earliest cowboys. Actually, the original cowboys were were actually kind of bad guys. They were rustlers originally, and then some of them began to make a living. But anyway, so uh, this guy was a, a fair a fur trapper, fur trapper. So uh, there was actually sort of a guy that it was loosely based on. But yeah, and then aired in a paper in in essentially New England years later. And in Pennsylvania. Uh, so who knows whether it's anything at all. Mm. <laughs> the website I happen to be on right here is the American Cowboy website. So if you want to go look that up, uh, you can. Uh, but I looked at other ones too. Including Wikipedia, which isn't a good source. So there you go. Um... <laughs> the Trapper, Hugh, it was actually 40-something. Actually, that's that works, because DiCaprio's in his 40s. He's not young anymore, is he? You know, he's in his 40s, so that works. But he wasn't so pretty. No, he weren't pretty at all, like DiCaprio. And now that all this other scene makes sense, it's like, oh, these were two different scenes months apart. Like, the part where he breaks his leg is in the summer, and the part where he gets mauled by the bear is in the summer. But then, years later, there's another scene that happens, even in the winter. I didn't figure it would have been. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so yeah, I've 